The Moors Catholic Crusaders finished last season 3-13, and 6th in the Liberty Division. Coach Kevin Hayes, who has spent all five years of his coaching career at the school after retiring from m and Mars, has been working hard to improve the program. However, the numbers just don't add up. Well, the, the, the issues that we're having trouble with is, uh, as a small school of 440 kids, it's, it's sometimes hard to still fill all 14 weight classes. If you go back a couple years ago, um, when we have 12 kids or 15 kids, we were forfeiting quite a few weight classes. This year, um, we have no one at 113, no matter how we shift the weights around. We have a couple weight classes, not many, one or two, where we, ha we will consider putting in a freshman. Now remember, that freshman has never wrestled before. So 106, we have a young man named Mike Smilik. Um, he'll, have, he'll have very limited action until he learns and he grows. In terms of strength, um, we would expect Roman to be very tough at 52. He may go to 45. Uh, we would expect uh, Di Filippo to be tough at 160, Hostin to be tough at 170, to be honest with you. We expect them to be competitive. In the past uh, five years, we've always had a star on the team. We've always had a district place winner. Sometimes we had a guy who placed in regions. Um, but this year, we have more of a complete team, perhaps with not the star ability that we've had in the past. Senior John Roman has been working hard in the practice room to get the squad ready for the season. He's noticed a difference in the program the last few years. This year we have a lot of uh, weight classes filled that we didn't have last year. We have a heavyweight this year and a 106 pounder. So we have a lot of guys coming out and supporting the team who's never wrestled before. So this should be a big factor on us taking us far. This shapes up to be a long season for Morris Catholic in dual meets. A lack of depth and experience are hard for any program to overcome especially one with such a limited enrollment as Morris Catholic. The real success for the Crusaders may come in individual tournaments where Damon and a few others might be able to place in districts and regions. However, win or lose, Morris Catholic will have one thing. Crusader pride. For MorrisCountyHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower, reporting.